Hi guys, I'm Steph. Thank you so much for checking out my channel today. I'm really excited to be bringing you my beauty inventory. So that means skincare, hair care, body care, and kind of like miscellaneous stuff. If you're interested in seeing my makeup inventory, that was my last video that I posted. So I'll link down below and I'll try to link it in the cards if I can remember how to do that. And I would love it if you would subscribe. Thank you so much. So before we get into it, I'm just like looking around because the lighting is terrible. We're at that time of year where it's just not really feasible to film with natural lighting. By the time I get back from school, it's it's pretty dark out. But I still really wanted to film this video for you. I didn't want to wait till the weekend when I had like daylight hours. So hopefully the lighting isn't too terrible. And just to let you know about my beauty inventory. This won't be including sample sizes, but it will be including travel sizes. So by that I mean travel sizes or minis like this Ula Henriksen, the Trier's Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. You can buy this. It wasn't a sample, so therefore I count it as one moisturizer. So just to kind of give you an idea of what my numbers actually mean. Another thing to point out, these are the numbers that I took in September. So they're not reflective of what my current inventory is, but they are pretty close. And some of the categories are like a bit odd, so I have examples to show you so you know what I'm talking about. But let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start with just hair products. So for hairsprays, I have four. I I don't even buy hairsprays, so I don't know how I accumulate so much. I bought like a Sephora pack a few years ago, and it came with like a hairspray, a wave thing, like texturizing spray, all that type of stuff. So for leave-in conditioners and hair oils, I have three. Oh, just so I'm looking down because my, my book is here. I want to make sure I give you accurate numbers. For detangling sprays, that's like sprays I put in my hair when it's wet just to help comb it out because I have like the naughtiest hair ever. For dry shampoo, I have 14. I didn't like, I always buy them when they're on sale because they're so expensive here and then I just ended up with like a lot and it maybe takes me like six weeks to get through one if I'm using it consistently but yeah so something to keep in mind when I'm thinking about buying dry shampoo I don't need it which is good but yeah <laughs> for heat protectants I have two so that's just like what I spray my hair before I would either blow dry it or straighten it and then for texturizers slash wave slash volume anything that's going to give your hair like a bit of oomph I have five of those and for the most part they're sprays but I think I do have one gel. And then for hair primer slash finishers I have two. I thought this might be a bit of a confusing category so just to show you what is in it. I have the Bumble and Bubble Tonic Lotion Primer. It's just supposed to be like a pre-styling type thing. And then I have from Tony and Guy a Finishing Shine Spray. So it's supposed to just so it's just supposed to put like shine into your hair. I used it today, so hopefully my hair looks shiny. But yeah, I wasn't really quite sure what to categorize these things because they don't give volume. They're kind of just like not even really styling things. So yeah, they're a category in and of themselves. For scalp treatments, I have two. So that's just to get rid of like flaky buildup or just like build up from product, that type of thing. For shampoos, I have 11. Remember, this includes travels and minis but not samples, so like stuff I picked up from hotels, that's where a lot of these numbers are coming from. And then for conditioners, I have 10. For hair masks, I have like one like jar of a hair mask, and then I have single-use hair masks, I have nine. That's it for hair. Also like the reason why I have so many shampoos is because I buy shampoos like I try not to backstock too much, but I have like a little bit of backstocking just in case I run out. It's not like, oh no, that day. So I backstocked before I dyed my hair because I thought I was going to get through the other one faster. So now I'm using like purple shampoo and purple conditioner and like color treated stuff. So I wasn't using the stuff I had previously purchased and had to buy more. So that's kind of why that number took off more than I would want and why it's like kind of hard to get down because it's like, well, I don't want to use like the little hotel shampoos on my hair now because I feel like it would be really not great for it but I'm either gonna have to like get rid of them or like I have family coming so maybe I'll be like guys don't bring shampoo conditioner like I got it for you so hopefully that that could be helpful so moving on to skincare I have two facial sunscreens 
One of them is a mini, which I'm hoping will be done so soon, and then I can start using the other one. That's not really something I want to have back stock, back stock of because sunscreen can expire. For serums, I have four, and just an example of a serum would be something like the Ula Henriksen Truth Serum. Anything that says it's a serum, pretty much anything that has like an active in it that isn't for exfoliating or for acne treatment. If there's some sort of active ingredient, whether it be like for brightening, anti-aging, that type of stuff, I've considered it a serum. For face moisturizers, I have six. For chemical exfoliants, I have four. Some examples of chemical exfoliants are like a lactic acid. This is one from The Ordinary. And I also have the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. For face washes, I only have, I only have, I have four. Toners, I have three. Acne spot treatments, I have seven. I have a lot of different acne spot treatments because I find different things work for different types of breakouts if it's a white head versus if it's more like something that's cystic. So I have a few things here and there that I kind of play around with and my acne is not super un in, under control. So I buy products just to see what is going to try to work best. That's kind of how that number balloons so much. But again, things like that do expire. So I want to try to use through what I have and I definitely don't need to pick up anymore. I have enough to test out and like make my own cocktails that if they're not going to work for me, probably nothing will. Eye creams, I only have two. Essences, I have four. So an essence is something I considered that was hydrating, but not like a moisturizer. For example, I have this L'Oreal Hydra Genius, and this is kind of like a very gel-like consistency. It was on its side, so it kind of got... But you can see it right here. It's something that's like very thin. It's going to add hydration to the skin, but it's not enough to be a moisturizer. So that's kind of what I consider an essence. Something else would be like the Be Hydro Drunk Elephant is something I would consider an essence. For face oils, I have three. For retinoids, I have one. I really was not sure where to categorize this, so I just made it its own category. And then for exfoliating pads, I have like two containers of exfoliating pads. Blotting papers, just to kind of like blot down if you're getting shiny throughout the day, I have two. Sheet masks, I have nine. Face masks, I broke up into two categories. Multi-use, which would be like something like this or something that's in a jar. And of that, I have 13. I also have single-use ones that aren't sheet masks, and for this, I have 15. Nose strips, I have six. So just to show you a nose strip, this is like the Biore one. You put it like over your nose and then you pull it off. They come in packs of eight, so I just, I count each individual one as six. As long as I don't have more than eight, I mean, that's fine. I feel like if I'm going to continue to buying them, that number is going to always be around the eight or below mark. For eye patches, I have two sets. And just to give you guys an example, I picked these one these ones at, at Walmart and they're just eye gel masks. So let's look at this, you put them under your eyes. I haven't tested them out yet, but I'm really excited to. There's a few items that kind of bridge the gap between makeup and skincare. So I'm just gonna talk about those now. So just for Makeup wipes, I have six packs of makeup wipes, and for my cell water and makeup remover, I have four of those. Moving on to body products, I have 14 body lotions, one tanning lotion, so this isn't quite self-tanner. I have it right here. This is the Jergens Natural Glow, and it's a moisturizer, but it does give you some color, so I wouldn't quite consider lotion because I wouldn't use it all the time, so it's I made it a category in and of itself. Body washes, I have 13. A lot of these are minis, but some of them are full size. I have not bought body wash in over a year because even a year ago I realized like I had such a huge back stock, and not for me over purchasing. I swear that is like not an area where I over purchase. It's because I continuously get them as gifts, but I don't use the gifts. I then just like buy for myself, use what I have, buy it again, and I don't, I don't use, I'm really bad about using gifts people give me, so I'm trying to get better at that. Again, something I've never bought for myself, I've somehow ended up with a bunch of bar soap. So I have six bar soaps. I don't really use bar soap. I'm trying to use some now to clean my makeup sponges, but I, I don't know. I really don't know how I'm going to get through those ones. I have three body exfoliators, so that's usually just something that has like some granulation in it that you can rub all over your body. You guys know what an exfoliator is. I don't know why I'm explaining it to you. This is kind of like body bath stuff. I have six bubble baths, eight bath bombs, and nine 
foot stuff. So I didn't want to break down every single foot thing, but just to give you an idea of some things I have. So some things that go in that category, I have like a foot mask, I have a foot lotion from the body shop, a foot soap, and a foot spray, all from the body shop. I got like a body shop foot thing, so that's how I have all that. Anyways, I didn't want to break them all up into their own categories, just foot stuff. Last section, this is kind of just miscellaneous. So I talked about my nail polish in my beauty one. I have 45 nail polishes, but I didn't talk about my nail coats and treatments. So that means like base coat, top coat, cuticle oil, strengthener, hardener, growing, all that type of random nail stuff. I have seven bottles of that. Deodorant, I have two. I just wanted to include it for personal reasons because that is something I tend to buy a bunch of when it's on sale, so I want to keep track of that type of number. For nail polish remover, I only have one, which is good. I used to have more than one, which is completely unnecessary. For cotton rounds, I have five packages of cotton rounds. For candles, I have seven. Candles aren't really something I tend to stock up on, but I also tend not to use them, so it ends up being a backstock, so I'm really trying to actually use my candles, be mindful of how many I have. I do want to hopefully pick some up at the Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale, but not unless I can get through at least two before then. And hand soaps, I have five, like hand soaps that you pump. So there you have it. I also included some random stuff like glasses cleaner and contact solution that I won't bore you with, but I just wanted to have a general inventory of all the like toiletry type stuff that I have, whether I need to be buying more, being mindful of purchasing more of a singular item, whether I need to be mindful about actually using an item up. So it was really helpful for me. If you're going to do a type of inventory like this, I would love to know what are some products, like categories that I didn't include that you think that you're surprised I don't have, or like maybe I totally overlooked it. I would love to know what you think about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.